as a kingdom warrior you must understand that your words are so powerful by the words of God's mouth the worlds came into being you know the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3 verse 1 says that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and then in verse 2 it goes further to explain how the Spirit of God was upon the face of the earth and then in verse 3 it says and God said let there be light and there was light God said let there be light and there was light and if you look through the creation story everything that God spoke came into being your words are so powerful we are told in Proverbs that life and death are in the power of the tongue how do you use your tongue now that you're a kingdom warrior instead of using your words against your destiny God is encouraging you to use your words for your destiny you know in Numbers chapter 13 we see a very interesting scenario going on where Moses sent 12 spies to explore the land of Canaan to see if it was actually useful for them so that they could inhabit it but when the spies came back Ten of them came with the report that, oh, there are giants in that land. We are not able to overtake. We are not able to overcome. We are not able to possess the land of Canaan. But do you know that Joshua and Caleb, they had a different testimony. They said, yes, there might be giants in the land, but we are able to overcome. We are able to overtake it. Why? Greater is he who is in us than he that is in the world. So as a child of God, as a man after God's heart, as a woman after God's heart, you must understand that your words will bring forth your destiny. Your words will birth forth your reality. What has God called you to do? What has God called you to do in his kingdom? Where is God taking you to what is the word of God saying concerning you you must always be in alignment to the word of God by speaking words of faith by speaking words of life yes I can do it yes I am the apple of God's eyes yes God has given up nations for me God is able to help me to overcome these challenges around me these circumstances I am going through this destiny that God has given me will bring him glory and show for this praise this ministry that God has placed in my hands will bring God glory. It shall be exceedingly fruitful. It shall conquer the kingdoms of the earth and subdue them to the living God. You know, the words you speak are so powerful. That is why instead of cursing, you should learn to bless. Instead of doubting, you should learn to exalt the potency of God's hand over your life. Instead of thinking, how shall these things be? How can it ever happen? Instead of negating the possibility of them happening with the words that you speak speak words of encouragement words of hope words of life because the longer you are speaking the more you speak them they come into reality it's just like the forces of the universe hear what you are saying and they go into action to birth your words to reality it's just like god sits in heaven the angels of god sit in heaven they hear what you are saying and it's in agreement to god's word and then god is moved to act on them because he honors his word above his name so if god was able to create the ends of the earth with his word you are able to create signs and wonders with your word as a kingdom army as a soldier of the end time for the lord you must learn to understand that your words carry power so speak words of life speak words that bring light speak words that exalt the name of the most high god and reveals his love for mankind because your words will take you places your words will open doors for you your words will be able to turn the heart of kings to favor you your words will be able to take you to realms that you never imagined speak words of life words of hope words of faith in the place of prayer in the face of challenges and difficulties in the midst of circumstances you do not understand in the midst of all the darkness that may be going on around you say I know my Redeemer liveth this is the confession of Job despite losing everything his wife I've said curse God and die he said how can you speak like one of the foolish women God has given and God has taken I know 
know my redeemer live it and he is able to deliver me you know your words will make room for you so learn to speak words that will move the hand of god to your favor learn to speak words that will move the hearts of men and women to favor you instead of causing strife with your words why not bring peace with your word instead of causing commotions with your words why not bring light with your words you know your words are able to do for you what your education might not do for you what your money might not do for you there are situations that it is the way you would speak that will cause such doors to be opened for you both in the human realm and in the realm of divinity so dear kingdom warrior it's time for you to start watching the words that you speak over the circumstances you are going through over the situations around your life the words that you speak in the life of your spouse in the lives of your children the words that you speak to your friends to your leaders to your mentors because these words are seeds that you are sowing and as you speak for the word they will not go void they will fulfill feel the purpose for which it was sent because God operates in that realm where when he speaks a word it doesn't come back to him void it actually accomplishes so instead of speaking negativity and defeat it's time for you to realize that you have been made in the image and the likeness of the most high God and you will do as your father in heaven is doing because the Bible says in first John chapter 4 verse 17 that as God is in heaven so are we in this world so if God's words are able to bring life and life and abundance and peace and bring creation into existence then your words are able to do wonders your words are able to bring souls into the kingdom of God your words are able to bring peace your words are able to spread the love of God and your words are able to lead you into realms of abundance and fulfillment and all heavenly blessings so it's time to watch the words that you speak and always make sure that they are in alignment to God's word thank you so much for watching this episode of the kingdom warrior with me your sister friend and host Ruth Makochi I'm encouraging you to please subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell so that you are always the first to be notified of all the contents that we place on this channel and if this content has been a blessing to you I encourage you to share it to as many people and many platforms as you can so that it can be a blessing to others and as you do so God will bless you immensely in Jesus name thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode